My name is Ellie Singer, and I will be sharing with you what the Word of God states about physical healing. Romans chapter 10, verse 17 states, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Your faith for your healing will come as you listen to and meditate on the promises in God's Word about your healing. Genesis 20:17. So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife and his maidservants, and they bare children. Psalm 116, 8 through 9. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Jeremiah 33, 6. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. 1 Peter 2, 24. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Matthew 15, 29 through 31. And Jesus departed from thence, and came nigh unto the sea of Galilee, and went up into a mountain, and sat down there. And great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them, insomuch that the multitude wondered when they saw the dumb to speak, the maimed to be whole, the lame to walk, and the blind to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Mark 6, 55 through 56 And ran through that whole region round about, and began to carry about in beds those that were sick, where they heard he was. And whithersoever he entered into villages or cities or country, they laid the sick in the streets, and besought him that they might touch, if it were, but the border of his garment, and as many as touched him were made whole. Luke 4, 38 through 40 and he arose out of the synagogue and entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with a great fever, and they besought him for her. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she arose and ministered unto them. Now when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with divers diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hand on every one of them and healed them. Luke 7, 12 through 15. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the bier, and they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak and he delivered him to his mother. Luke 9, 1 and 2. Then he called his twelve disciples together, and gave them power and authority over all devils, and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God, and to heal the sick. John 5, 5 through 14. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, He that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. Then asked they him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed wist not who it was. For Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward Jesus findeth him in the temple, and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. 
Acts 4, 29 and 30. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word, by stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. Psalm 147, 3. He healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth up their wounds. Malachi 4, 2. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Matthew 9, 27-31 And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou Son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. But they, when they were departed, spread abroad his fame in all that country. Matthew 19, 2 And great multitudes followed him, and he healed them there. Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Luke 5, 13 through 15. And he put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will, be thou clean. And immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he charged him to tell no man, but go and shew thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing, according as Moses commanded, for a testimony unto them. But so much the more went there a fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear, and to be healed by him of their infirmities. Luke 7, 22. Then Jesus answering said unto them, Go your way, and tell John what things ye have seen and heard how that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, to the poor the gospel is preached. Luke 9, 6 And they departed, and went through the towns, preaching the gospel, and healing everywhere. Hebrews 13, 8 Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, and today, and forever. Proverbs 3, 1 and 2. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments, for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Matthew 4, 23 and 24. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers diseases and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. 1 John 3, 8 For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Mark 8, 22 through 25 and he cometh to Bethesda, and they bring a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand, and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes, and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw aught. And he looked up, and said, I see men as trees walking. After that, he put his hands again upon his eyes, and made him look up. And he was restored, and saw every man clearly. Luke 5 24 through 26. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power upon earth to forgive sins, he said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy couch, and go into thine house. And immediately he rose up before them, and took up what whereon he lay, and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they were all amazed, and they glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. Luke 9, 11. And the people, when they knew it, followed him, and he received them, and spake unto them of the kingdom of God, and healed them that had need of healing. 
John 6, 63. It is a spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. Acts 5, 15 and 16. Insomuch that they brought forth the sick into the streets, and laid them on beds and couches, that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed every one. 2 Timothy 1.7 For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Deuteronomy 30.20 That thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life, and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord sware unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. Proverbs 3, 7 and 8 Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. Matthew 8, 2 and 3 And behold, there came a leper, and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will, be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Luke 9, 56 For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Matthew 21, 14 And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. Mark 9, 25. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying to him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. Luke 6, 6 through 10. And it came to pass also on another Sabbath that he entered into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man whose right hand was withered. And the scribes and Pharisees watched him, whether he would heal on the Sabbath day that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts, and said to the man which had the withered hand, Rise up, and stand forth in the midst. And he arose, and stood forth. Then said Jesus unto them, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good, or to do evil, to save life, or to destroy it? And looking round about upon them all, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he did so and his hand was restored whole as the other. Luke 8, 2 And certain women which had been healed of evil spirit and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils. Luke 10, 9 And heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. John 9, 5 through 7 as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way, therefore, and washed, and came seeing. Acts 8, 6 and 7 And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies, and that were lame, were healed. Hebrews 4, 14-16 Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Matthew 9, 35 And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. 2 Kings 5.14 
Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. Proverbs 4, 20 through 22. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Psalm 107, 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Matthew 10, 1. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out, and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Mark 1, 30-34 But Simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever, and anon they tell him of her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left her, and she ministered unto them. And at even, when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were diseased, and them that were possessed with devils. And all the city was gathered together at the door. And he healed many that were sick of divers diseases, and cast out many devils, and suffered not the devils to speak, because they knew him. Mark 16, 15 through 18. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hand on the sick, and they shall recover. Luke 6, 17-19 And he came down with them and stood in the plain, and the company of his disciples, and a great multitude of people, out of all Judea and Jerusalem, and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him, and to be healed of their diseases, and they that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him, and healed them all. Luke 13:16. And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound, lo, these eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? John 10.10 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come, that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Acts 9.33-34 and 34. And there he found a certain man named Aeneas, which he had kept his bed eight years, and was sick of the palsy. And Peter said unto him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ maketh thee whole. Arise, and make thy bed. And he arose immediately. Hebrews 12, 12 and 13. Wherefore lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. 1 Chronicles 29, 28 And he died in a good old age, full of days, riches, and honor. And Solomon his son reigned in his stead. Proverbs 9, 11, For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. 2 Chronicles 30, 20 And the Lord hearkened to Hezekiah, and healed the people. Matthew 10, 7 and 8. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Mark 1, 40 through 42. And there came a leper to him, beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus, moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him, and saith unto him, I will be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was cleansed. Mark 16, 20 And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, and confirming the word with signs following. Amen.
Luke 7, 6 through 10. Then Jesus went with them, and when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. For I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers, and I say unto one, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh, and to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him, and turned him about, and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Luke 14, 2 through 4. And behold, there was a certain man before him which had the dropsy. And Jesus answering spake unto the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? And they held their peace. And he took him and healed him and let him go. John 11, 43 and 44. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto them, Loose him, and let him go. Proverbs 12:18. There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. Matthew 8, 14-17. And when Jesus was come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever. And he touched her hand, and the fever left her. And she arose and ministered unto them. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities, and bare our sicknesses. Matthew 11, 4 and 5. Jesus answered and said unto them, Go, and shew John again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Mark 2, 11 and 12. I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy bed and go thy way into thine house. And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, insomuch that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. Luke 4, 18 and 19. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Luke 17, 14 and 15. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go shew yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Matthew 7, 11. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Acts 3, 1 through 10. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God.
And all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they knew that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. Acts 14, 8-10 And there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet. And he leaped and walked. James 5, 14-16 Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he hath committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Proverbs 16, 24 Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Matthew 9, 20 through 22 And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Matthew 12, 15 But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew himself from thence, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all. Mark 3, 1 through 5 And he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there which had a withered hand. And they watched him, whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. And he saith unto the man which had the withered hand, Stand forth, and he saith unto them, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days, or to do evil, to save life, or to kill? But they held their peace. And when he had looked round about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he saith unto the man, Stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored whole as the other. Luke 4, 33-37 And in the synagogue there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil, and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, he came out of him, and hurt him not. And they were all amazed, and spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power he commandeth the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. 1 John 5, 14 and 15 And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us, and if we know that He hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of Him. Luke 18, 41 and 42, saying, What will thou that I shall do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight, thy faith hath saved thee. Acts 4, 10. Be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. Psalm 32 O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. Acts 19, 11 and 12 and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. 
Psalm 29:11. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Proverbs 17:22. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. Matthew 9:23 through 26. And when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the people making a noise, he said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand. And the maid arose, and the fame hereof went abroad into all that land. Matthew 12:22. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb. And he healed him, insomuch that the blind and dumb both spake and saw. Mark 3.10 For he had healed many, insomuch that they pressed upon him for to touch him, as many as had plagues. Luke 9.42 And as he was yet a coming, the devil threw him down and tear him. And Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, and healed the child, and delivered him again to his father. Luke 22, 50 and 51 And one of them smote the servant of the high priest, and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far? And he touched his ear, and healed him. Romans 4, 17 As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations, before him whom ye believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Psalm 33, 18-20 Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death, and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waiteth for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Isaiah 40, 29 He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. Matthew 14, 13 and 14 When Jesus heard of it, he departed thence by ship into a desert place apart. And when the people had heard thereof, they followed him on foot out of the cities. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them, and he healed their sick. Mark 3, 14 and 15 And he ordained twelve, that they should be with him, and that he might send them forth to preach and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out devils. Luke 8, 28 through 33 when he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God most high? I beseech thee, torment me not. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For oftentimes it had caught him, and he was kept bound with chains and in fetters. And he brake the bands and was driven of the devil into the wilderness. And Jesus asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. And they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the deep. And there was there an herd of many swine feeding on the mountain. And they besought him that he would suffer them to enter into them. And he suffered them. Then went the devils out of the man and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the lake and were choked. Romans 4, 19 through 21. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead, when he was about an hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. Psalm 42:11 Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. 
Matthew 14, 34 through 36. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Genesaret. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they set out into all that country round about, and brought unto him all that were diseased, and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. And as many as touched were made perfectly whole. Mark 6, 12 and 13. And they went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. Luke 8, 47 and 48. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. Luke 13, 10 through 13. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity eighteen years, and was bowed together, and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him, and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, and glorified God. Mark 11, 23 and 24. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Jeremiah 33, 3 Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and shew thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Isaiah 40, 31 But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. 3 John 1, 2 Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Malachi 3.6 For I am the Lord, I change not.